dancers. They've got moves for days. Have you ever been watching dancers and thought, how do they do that? Yeah, us too. Well, turns out all those twists and twirls can really wreak havoc on their bodies. And so getting proper treatment is paramount. Let's head now to Aquacare Physical Therapy to learn about a new form of medicine here on Delmarva. One, two, three, four. This five, skilled five, set of feet six, belongs seven, to a young woman named Sarah. Sarah is a former dancer turned teacher, but a high school injury and subsequent surgery a few years back have caused a few complications. She can't really demonstrate and get on point the way she'd like to. Go ahead. Go out. Good. And back in. So Sarah's here at Aquacare Physical Therapy in Salisbury to change that. So we've been working a lot on getting her strength back in her hip and her knee and making sure that her alignment when she gets on point is where it needs to be to safely return. Aquacare's dance medicine program is new. Dance medicine is actually a subsection of sports medicine and dancers as athletes require a lot of athleticism um, and which in turn puts them at higher risk for injury. So dance medicine is basically physical therapy provided to dancers by people who know them best, which are former athletes and dancers themselves. One, two, three, four, use that glute. Physical Five, therapist assistant six, Katie seven, Oakley eight, says it's revolutionary one, for two, the Eastern Shore. Three, She's four, a former four, dancer five, herself. Six, just like many girls and boys, um, I was put into dance basically when I was potty trained at two or three years old and I went through many amazing studios, amazing teachers throughout the area. And throughout my adult life, I kind of transitioned into choreography and teaching. And so through that, I've come into contact with a lot of performing artists in the area. And there's not really anything around here where these performing artists and dancers can go to get the help they need and injury prevention. She says where dance medicine differs from other forms of physical therapy is that it recognizes that a dancer's normal limits or functional limitations are different from other people's. And so they have a very specific framework to follow to get them where they need to be. Katie got her training in New York City, and so far those she's brought it back to are big believers. They love it. Um, I've had, you know, very little girls, and now I've had girls in mid-20s. Pause halfway through. Katie Fives has her doctorate of physical therapy. Sorry, she says there are all kinds of potential injuries facing this charismatic community. Right, it starts, up. you can have some That's SI right. dysfunction. Labral tears in the hip are very common. Um, hip impingement is a very big one. Um, and tendonitis all throughout the hip, knee, ankle. Um, patella femoral pain syndrome, ankle and foot pain are, are probably the most common ones. I know there was a lot there. <laughs> and with a wide variety of injuries comes a wide variety of treatment options. As I mentioned, I have an orthopedic manual therapy, so doing some joint mobilizations. Um, a lot of dancers use their muscles a little bit unevenly, so they develop trigger points and therapies like dry needling and uh, cupping, um, an instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization are all really effective for that. Mm -hmm. And then combine that with our exercises and our protocol to return to on point is really, really beneficial for those dancers. Katie says day one will be an evaluation and from there they'll design a unique treatment plan for Get each and every there. dancer. Excellent. So now we're going to do some bores across here. And she cautions okay. every dancer having even a little bit of pain to pay attention. As athletes, you know, you're taught to push through the pain and really like, especially in performing, like, you know, you just got, the show has to go on. So many dancers have pain and they just don't pay attention to it a lot of times. And that can be detri detrimental. And we like to reach out to those dancers and get them in before it becomes more serious of an issue. Even, you know, recreational dancers and competitive dancers, and even performing artists that are on stage with community players who only have a couple of dances that they have to learn, um, it's important for them as well. One, two, three, four, 
five. The dance medicine five, program five. is one the folks here at AquaCare <laughs> hope to build on so as to offer even more resources for folks in the local community. AquaCare is located here in Salisbury and in other parts of Maryland and Delaware. We would love to. We would love to start having um, injury prevention and point screenings for our studios in the area. We have played around with the idea of having a clinic here once a month on a night of the week, just where dancers can come in and um, be educated on the different types of injuries, how those injuries begin. Um, because what's important to understand is they are taught a very specific technique depending on what studio they come from. And so it's important to cross train them and to teach them tools that yes, they need to be in first in that turned out position a lot of the time, but how are we going to cross train that to make those other muscles strong to support them? Strengthening Two, and supporting three, muscles. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So these dancers can get on stage and four, shine. Five. And this medicine is for both girls and guys. The two Katies say that men's dancing has expanded a lot in recent years, and it's important they take care of their bodies too.